Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to another lesson on Google Classroom. This lesson today is titled Pollution Soup, and it is one of my most favorite lessons to do around Earth Day or during that week. I'm excited to try with you. Not gonna lie, I'm not sure how it's going to work out teaching it via through the computer, but we're gonna try. And if I make some mistakes, just please bear with me. So what I want to start off with is introducing to you what I have in front of me. So here, this says household drain. And this is going to be the drain that, I, that represents all the drains that you have at home, in your kitchen, bathroom, um, maybe if you have a sink in your garage. And what I have behind my household drain is a jar. And you can see that there's a little bit of white on the top. And what I've attached is a coffee filter. And inside, I've put some powder um, which represents chemicals. Now, for household drains, whenever we put things down them, um, they always the water that travels down with any debris that's in it always gets filtered through um, treatment plants with chemicals. They have chemicals filters that will clean the water um, or even like a septic tank. Now, this jar here is also another jar full of water. And this represents my storm drain jar. Storm drain jar, Ooh, that could be a tongue twister. Now, my storm drain jar is the drains that you see on the side of the road that are marked with yellow fish. And what that means is anything that travels down that drain is going to travel into fish bearing streams or where animals live. Now, this one is not filtered. What I'm going to do is I'm going to dump everyday household objects down my household jar and then i'm going to dump things into my storm drain jar storm drain jar <laughs> and what you're going to do is at the end you're going to predict which one is dirtier okay or which one is polluted more so i'm going to start off with my household jar and it kind of goes like this so when you first wake up in the morning maybe you have hmm, what actually do I do first thing in the morning? Well, I wake up and before I go to work, I have my breakfast. So I'm eating my breakfast. I love my special K fruit and yogurt cereal. And um, I'm gonna have my, this for my, with my breakfast. Uh, I might have um, some tea, okay? And I might have, or my husband might have some coffee with his cereal. So I'm getting ready in the morning. I'm trying to eat my cereal, but I'm, I woke up a little bit late and I don't finish all of it. So I take my little bit of extra milk and extra cereal and I dump it down the household drain. So I'm going to take some cereal and we're going to put some down my drain. A little bit of cereal. And I usually drink all the milk, but I had some cereal crumbs in there. So my cereal. And then maybe I have my leftover tea. This is my tea bag, which will represent the tea going down the drain. And then Daniel, he's running out of the house and he pours his leftover coffee um, down the drain as well. And before he leaves, he also cleans out his coffee grinds. So we're gonna put some of the coffee grinds down our drain. We get a spoon here. We're gonna add some coffee into our household drain. Okay. So we've had cereal, we've had coffee, and tea so far. Okay, so boys and girls, what happens next after you have your cereal? What do we do? Give you a hand. We brush our teeth. So next thing in the morning, we brush our teeth. We put our toothpaste on our toothbrushes, brush, 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 maybe spit a couple times. And so all that toothpaste goes down the drain. And then to make sure that our breath is extra minty and fresh, we use some mouthwash. Okay. I was thinking about actually switching around, but I won't. Right, so we have a little bit of mouthwash that goes down our drain. 
awesome. Now, another thing that you might do in the morning, I know I, I do this, uh, maybe after you brush your teeth or even before, we have a quick shower. So I have some Herbal Essences Hello Hydration Shampoo and Conditioner. So I put this in my hair, wash it, all the suds, bubbles go down the drain in the bathroom. So let's add some of this to our pollution soup. And what do I got here? Oh, maybe your parents or your older brother or sister, they need to shave. Daniel might have to shave his beard before he goes to work, trim it up. So I have some shaving cream that I'm going to add to our drains. This looks good, guys. I can't wait to show you. So we have that. All right. Oh, I forgot. Another thing. Maybe you don't like cereal for breakfast. Maybe you're like my brother-in-law who loves pancakes. And he always loads his pancakes up with syrup. So another thing that can go down your household drain is the leftover syrup that was left on your plate after you were done eating your pancakes. So we've got to add this into our drain too. All right, so you've had an awesome morning. You you woke up, you got showered, maybe or had a bath. So showered, bath. You had something to eat, whether it's pancakes or cereal, coffee, tea, and then you brushed your teeth. So all of this went into our drain. Uh, you have a busy day with Miss Canelvin at school. You learn so much. And then you come home, you have some dinner, and maybe as a way to relax, your mom and dad set you up with a nice bubble bath. So you have a nice bubble bath when you get home. You load, if you're like me, you'll load up the bathtub with tons of bubbles. Oh, it smells so good. What is it? Berry scent. Mm. So while you're having a bubble bath when you're home, your parents are doing some cleaning. So they're washing the kitchen, they're washing dishes. So I'll add some dish soap. This is also going down the drain. We've added a lot of things. Maybe some yeah, more cleaner, they've mopped the floor. Move this out of the way so I don't mix up things. All right. So our our household drain's looking pretty full. Let's move on to our storm drain. So the storm drain. Well, let's start off with um, what should I pick? I have so many good options. I'd love to show you. Well, you know what? While well, the weather's been nice, my mother-in-law has been making us do a ton of gardening around the yard for her. So when we're out digging, sometimes dirt, we're cleaning up the driveway or the front gardens in the front yard and the dirt spills onto the road, it might fall down the drain. So here's some bark mulch. <laughs> I better clean this up after. We've got some dirt, bark mulch, that's gonna go in. Really messy. Okay, some rocks. Okay, so mother in law, she's got us working outside. Maybe she had us trim some of the bushes back and some of the leaves that fell off from being clipped went down the storm drain. And then after we do a bit of yard work, tidying it up, she wants us to fertilize the yard. This isn't real fertilizer, it's just sprinkles. Okay, so we're going to fertilize the yard, and we live on a property that has a pretty big yard. So all that's going in. <clears throat> and then after we do our yard work, uh, Miss Canelfin has to clean her car because we went fishing, we went um, on the, the gravel roads, and the car is filthy. So she's like, I, I got to clean this car. So she has some car cleaner and don't worry this isn't this isn't real cleaner this is cranberry juice but it's representing my cleaner so she's 
She wipes or she sprays the card down. Ms. Calvin sprays her car down with water from the hose. And then she adds her soap. Ooh, that's going to be one clean car. But while she's cleaning her car, she realizes that some motor oil is leaking. And she needs to take the car in to get fixed. So there's a big puddle of oil that's on the driveway and running down the road. Um, into the earth drain. Again, this is soy sauce representing our motor oil. So Ms. Kenoffin has to get her car fixed because so much oil is leaking. And then while she's doing all this maintenance on her car, she tops up everything or she's looking, um, I guess maybe I could add this in there. We have some uh, windshield washer fluid. So she's topping everything up, making sure that it's good to go because when she's on the gravel roads looking for fish, it's dusty. So she wants to be able to clean her windows when she's driving. So we're gonna add our windshield fluid. But when she's trying to pour it into the, the car, some of it spills out the, the hole that you have to pour the liquid in. It's quite small. And so I accidentally put too much in. It overflows, goes, on, goes onto the road. And then what else do we have to add? Oh, what day is it today? Monday, which means it's recycling day and garbage. So we have pieces of recycling. Uh, this could also represent litter that people throw out when they're on walks onto the ground. So I've pretend I've taken my recycling out and I've put it by the road, but maybe the lid isn't on properly and some of my recycling blows away and ends up going down a drain as well. And this will also represent garbage uh, that people have thrown onto the road and that's, that it has made its way to the drain. All right, I think that is everything. But do you know what the weather is for this week? It's supposed to rain. So I have to make it rain on my two drains. But can it rain inside? No. So we'll pretend that when I pour water down that someone has turned the tap on. So I'll do my storm drain first. We're going to add rain, 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 rain. And then this one, household. I turn the tap on. Tap, 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 tap. All right. Now, before I show you what these jars look like, I want you to pause the video and discuss with your families which one is going to be more polluted? Is it my storm drain? Or is it my household drain? What do you think? Pause the video right now and discuss. All right, welcome back. Let's see which drain looks the worst. Wow, which one do I show you? You know what? I'm gonna show you our household drain. Are you ready? Let's see how polluted it is. And let me can move the charts. Move this down a little bit. Okay, I'll bring it forward. Here's my drains. Okay. Are you ready? Drum roll. It actually doesn't look that bad. Considering how many things, different things, went down our drain throughout the day, the water is actually pretty clean. And why it's clean is because it goes through several plants or treatment centers to become clean so that we can reuse it. It has the chemicals in it at the top. And remember how I said it had a filter? Let's move over to our storm drain jar and see what it looks like. I don't know. I don't think it's going to be as bad because I feel like I didn't put as many objects in, but we'll see. Oh no, that's disgusting. Look at this. I can see my fertilizer floating on top. I can see all the garbage, my newspapers at the bottom. Now we got to remember that all the water that travels 
down into our storm drain, remember the symbol? That means that all the water that goes down these drains end up in places that have fish or fish bearing places like streams or rivers or even to the ocean. If you were a fish, would you want to live in this water? I know I wouldn't. Fish now, they, they have gills. And if they're taking in water and the oxygen from the water, imagine all that getting stuck in there. Yikes. No, it doesn't look good. What are some things that we could do differently to ensure that our storm drain jar doesn't get this dirty? Remember, there's no filters. So what could we do? I want you to pause the video and discuss. Okay, I hope you discussed. Now, there's a couple things that we could do to make sure that this jar or the drain doesn't get as polluted. Instead of using um, different products on your cars, like when we were washing my car or I was putting in different chemicals to keep it clean, like my windshield fluid, you can maybe use stuff that's more eco-friendly. So that means it's not very toxic or it's, um, it's better for the earth. It's, it's a product that won't harm any animals. Um, maybe what you could do is uh, get your car checked up more often. So I shouldn't have let my oil get to the point where it was leaking and spilling out onto the road. Get frequent car checkups. When you're taking your recycling and garbage out, make sure that you don't stuff it so full so that the lid is, is going to, um, the lid could come off or that animals could get into the garbage and then spread it everywhere. Boys and girls, I really hope that you enjoyed my pollution suit demo. And I always have fun with this one, explaining to the kids how water makes its way down to places. Um, I really hope you enjoyed it. And I hope that you have a happy Earth, Earth Day and happy Earth Day week. And just remember, we consider, um, be considerate of your actions so that we can protect the planet that we live on. And another thing I can add to this, make sure that you don't litter because any litter that you, you throw away or leave on the ground, um, it, it ends up in places like rivers where animals live or into other habitats where creatures are. We wanna keep their home, just like we wanna keep our homes clean, we want to keep their homes clean too. So boys and girls, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you had a lot of fun and have a great rest of the week.